me Deb Flesh. welcome back to my channel and welcome to CD collection update number 7 the Christmas slash New Year special because this is a haul of just everything um, if you've seen my last video which is Real Metal Talk um, the other Christmas special then you'll know um, I'm filming this the same thing same outfit you can see that um, so again apologies for the rain noises and the change in setup there's a rain warning here in Ireland tonight and it's out of my control so I hope you can't hear it um, I'm gonna try edit it out as much as I can but no promises um, second of all this is gonna be a long video because I'm looking at the stack of CDs and everything else I have right now and I'm just like oh my god so um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to show them all um, and second of all this is going to be the last video with my horrific intro because I'm getting um, time finally I'm going to make a new one uh, which is well overdue because it's just so crusty like I could have at least used CapCut as a template and used a better one but yeah um, now I have more content and clips to work with so I'll be improving that I'll be improving my setup and yeah um, just overall general apologies for the state of this video it's going to be a long one as I said so yeah um, some of these were gifts for Christmas some of these I've had for a long time before Christmas and I haven't got a chance to film and also I'm so sorry if I repeat a CD because I'm trying to remember what I did and didn't do and this is why I don't like waiting a long time before I have CDs because usually I do five tops in a video but not today uh, but I'm gonna change that today we're gonna to get everything done and then I'm gonna feel so cleansed for the new year because I'll only have a few CDs again every video until this time next year when I leave it built up again so yeah let's get right into the video so first of all I have something really exciting um, this is a present from a friend uh, thank you Katie if you're watching for gifting me this uh, you shouldn't have this is my first vinyl so I guess I'm part of the VC now um, in terms of literal vinyls uh, Katie got me the end so far by Slipknot but the this is just a gorgeous vinyl anyway I'm going to edit in the picture of my reaction when she gave it to me like guys look at this she's also a Slipknot fan look at this and also you know I'm probably gonna it's gonna take me ages to do it but I'm gonna do a CD floor show at the end so don't even worry about you know how I'm showing you this right now so let's just look at this and I know this is a CD collection update video but you're gonna have to cope with this because I'm so excited about this um because yeah I, I have no excuse I'm just gonna have to deal with it um okay gorgeous it's a special edition neon uh, this is my first vinyl. I do have a vinyl player. Um, it's not in my room that I'm set up in here, but it is there nevertheless. So I will be using this. Uh, it's gorgeous. I'm trying not to damage it here. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to thank her because I know she likes to pop in and watch my videos sometimes. And I told her I was going to include this in the video and she was excited about that. And yeah, this is a gorgeous piece. Obviously, I love that album. Um, not an oldie, but a goldie, as I like to call it. Really good stuff here. And the photography and the artwork, like, it's just beautiful. Like, I really can't stress enough um, how much I love this. A really good mix of tracks on here, too. And look at this one. I know they're literally the same, but, like, that's going to be my thumbnail, I think so excited oh my god this is absolutely amazing um so yeah great stuff on here i'm not going to read the track list because when i get the cd or if i have the cd i don't even know if i have the cd at this stage to be honest but um i will have read you the track list but i just wanted to update you guys that now i have my first final so this is the first edition to my collection so excited about that um so yeah, a huge shout out to Katie. Thank you, Queen, for getting me that final. Um, and we're gonna put that to good use. And yeah, it's the first of many, I think. So that's really exciting. Just wanted to get that out of the way to preface. So now we're gonna get on to the CDs, no messing. So these are as well a mixture of different genres. Okay, like don't even judge. This is the definitive Alice Cooper. This was a gift. Um, 
love Alice Cooper, absolutely love this, this was a Christmas gift. Um, gorgeous pictures and gorgeous disc as per usual. I think I'm going to skip the track lists on all of these ones because there's so much to get through. But yeah, um, I can't wait to listen to this, this is a really good edition. So, also um, CD floor show, I'll show them properly so don't mind the glare and all the rest of it. Uh, then this is also a gift from the same family member, The Essential Judas Priest. This is a good one. I love Judas Priest. Um, Katie and me are actually thinking about going to see them at some point in the near future because we love them that much. No way, I just... Okay, yeah, I thought I broke the tool case. It just made a weird noise. Yeah, so gorgeous stuff here, as you can see. Um, I love... And it's two discs. And I love a good compilation um like album because i think they're just really good for any artist to kind of get a good taster it's like those spotify um made up albums of like this is you know judas priest or whatever um it just kind of gives you a good taster so really appreciated this next up we have same relative again uh acdc iron man 2 so i didn't even know that they actually did the music for this because i'm not a marvel girl but like, this is really cool. I didn't even know that because I'm kind of out of the loop with ACDC anyway. But overall, really nice stuff. A lot of Marvel things in here um, for the book. Like you see stuff like that in it. But overall, really good haul and some pictures of the band as well. Um, and this is actually a good album. Like these, these are really good tracks. I'm not gonna show you the disc just because it is wedged in so tightly, and it's like really matte, but it's still kind of shiny, you know. So I really appreciate this as well. So we've already got three D, three CDs, and a vinyl done, and we are five minutes in. That is good timing if I've ever seen it. The next one, if you just watched my Real Metal talk, you know this is my favorite album from this band. Esophagus, Killing for Sport. If you know me in real life, you know I wear my purple long sleeve. I live in that thing. I swear to God, it's amazing. It's out of this world. These guys, I think, are from Chile. Really good artwork. They're kind of based on the Predator theme um, and slam metal as well. I don't know if I said, but it is slam. And I ordered this with my long sleeve, and they gave me a few freebies, and that was really nice. So. Um, and their label is Reality Fade, which is, I feel like, a really good label for slam and things of the sort. So yeah, um, ignore the glare on that, but I will be showing it properly. But yeah, I love this album so much. Even though it only has three tracks, um, I adore it. And I can't wait to add this to my shelf now that it's out of the pile of things that I needed to get through. Okay, next up we have one from the local... Uh, CD shop. This is Cradle of Filth's Live Live Bait for the Dead. See, I don't even know the name of these. Cause that's how unprepared I am. Really nice, um, kind of glossy book here. Uh, it's kind of like a little bit transparent. I can't show it because of where my light is facing, um, because you won't be able to see it. But just know in your heart that it is um, until the end of the video or skip to it i don't really care but yeah um gorgeous stuff and again good tracks too and there's two discs with this one so we're gonna try not to break it but yeah um i love a good 2001 compilation moment and cradle of filth is a band that i haven't listened to that much but i want to get back into hence this so this is going to be a great addition for me because it's a start to their discography okay what do we have next save me from myself by head if you don't know head is the guy from corn um let me show you the back there head is this guy from corn uh, just in case you didn't know and he left the band for a while due to like personal issues and stuff and then he had this kind of solo um moment where and really cool photography as well in this book where he did his own solo um music he just compiled like a lot of solo stuff and i love him and corn and i love corn but he is just so talented and apparently the disc is in my cd player so apologies about that but yeah um my favorite song on this one is definitely flush 
and that's what got me into his solo stuff and I didn't even recognize his voice and stuff when um, I listened to it first but then I realized that it was him and I was just over like over the moon because I love his work on his own but I also love Korn and it's rare for me that I love an artist's solo work and their work together with the band so pick this is up uh, this is a really good one um, and he still goes by his name from Corn Head. His name is Brian, but he goes as Corn. This, this is Anti Human Anti Life by. Um, this is one that I picked up in my local CD shop. I got it on discount because the guy knows me and he's really nice. Um, I don't know the name. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't know the name. So I'm gonna show people, and if anyone knows. It, then they can let me know um a few of these actually were kind of just a blind buy for me to be honest i haven't listened to it but um definitely looks like black metal i mean if that's not black metal i don't know what is so yeah um yeah true norwegian black metal is what it says on the end so i'm under the impression that it's either a really underground band because it was just lying there second hand um, or it's like really famous and I'm just not like cultured enough in black metal to know it but yeah if you know anti-human anti-life by whoever this is let me know if it's good let me know who they are um, because I'm just illiterate when it comes to black metal logos thank you okay next one um, Enfius Lodge I want to say sorry if I butchered that name this is Another one with the same history, bought it in that same shop on that same day, in that same transaction. Don't know who it is. Um, I'm sure they're amazing. Another black metal one, I would assume. Um, really nice photography. Uh, and they have their little tanks in there, which I think is cute because not many bands kind of do that in such like an upfront way anymore. Oh, if the disc would stay in. This is the disc um obscure abhorrence productions obscure obscure abhorrence productions so yeah i'm guessing this is like a self-titled track if people have heard this let me know because i don't know who they are are they good are they shocking stay tuned but i said i'd pick it up because i like to blind buy things like that sometimes because it's either pure gold or pure trash no in between usually and i said i'd just place my bets and see um next up i have a feeling i did this already but this is quite an obvious one chaos horrific by cannibal corpse um again i know these math digipack ones are quite glare glary but you will see it at the end um Got some beautiful art there you know uh if you have seen my previous video you will know that i adore this album and everything about it um this is a 2023 release and it was really good um i will spare you the details because i already spoke so much about it in my real metal talk episode so if you haven't seen that go watch that you should probably watch that first because a lot of this is me lazily skimming through my CDs and being like, oh, I talked about that in the other video, so maybe you should just go watch the other video. But here's Chaos Horrific. Absolutely amazing. Uh, next is a Discogs special. And this is Skeleton Witch's first ever album because I just got into them at the time that I bought it. And I'm going to be buying the discography in order, like chronologically, which I've always wanted to do and I've never done for a band so gorgeous art here this is beyond the permafrost and as you can see folds out like that which is nice because you don't get that a lot anymore you kind of just get the books so i like something different this is something different so beyond the permafrost is their debut album not my favorite album not my least favorite album i think it was a decent album um i think the disc art is beautiful like these illustrations really just go above and beyond and I love them um yeah if you haven't heard of Skeleton Witch go check them out really good stuff from them and still really good stuff from them next up we have two Napalm Death um Order of the Leech is first oh 
don't drop it if i break any of my cds in one of these episodes i will be so upset because i'm so clumsy when it comes to these discs and if the jewel case is damaged like there's just no going back sometimes so um needless to say stunning stuff okay let me show you the book here really like it but also really similar to some of their other albums and stuff and kind of basic in terms of like track list and lyrics but i love a book with lyrics and then a photo in the middle like this i think it's really cool also color palette love theme love um not my favorite album from them but i digress because it is still good yeah now we have enemy of the music business by again you guessed it napalm death this jewel case is absolutely on its last legs i do need to switch it i do apologize so i'm gonna have to take it out and show you like this i really like this art i think this is really cool um if you've followed my videos or me on social media or whatever um by now you'll probably know that i am an artist and i'm studying art so i you know i don't take these things lightly and i love this i think the theme and the concept of all of their music is really strong a lot of political stuff which sometimes for me can get a bit boring in terms of just like the monotony of it because it feels like you're constantly um giving the same message over and over again of like screw the patriarchy you know but overall i don't think it's a bad album i think it's quite the opposite actually and yeah i think it's really powerful music if i didn't keep dropping it this video is such a mess but it's okay um yeah i think napalm death for me are just one of those bands that are like a classic like they're never gonna i'm never gonna get tired of them but um also like they're they seem to be charitable like you know that story where it was like oh those two guys um they got arrested i think wearing napalm death um shirts or something and then um the the guys from napalm death gave them a free concert ticket like i think that's so good when bands reach out to the fans like that um next up chameleon by halloween if it would focus this one is a good one i really like the cute little pumpkin illustrations in this um because it's very on brand for halloween i think they have really nice music um not a diehard halloween fan but if i see a copy and it's like within my budget i will nine out of ten times i will pick it up um so yeah i will pick it up and then next up we have actually something exciting my first japanese re-release with the ob strip and everything this is um peace sells but who's buying by megadeth so you know you can see that there like i just love this so much um and i think that the re-releases are you know they're different because you kind of have to like watch them because they're paper and they're really like this is flimsy so you really have to make sure it like stays in there in your collection but i think um definitely worth it like i have the booklet here in um english and in Japanese and it's talking about Dave Mustaine and all the credits and stuff um, and if you don't know what's popular about the Japanese re-releases I'm gonna do a whole video on this separate I think in the new year but what is so good about Japanese re-releases and why should you pay more for them or whatever um, basically in um, these Japanese re-release things they have this law in Japan that when you want to like sell an album in Japan even if it's an American album like this or whatever you need to release tracks on it that only the Japanese version has so that's why these are then worth more but and they have the little strip and stuff to show you that it's like a legit one but um yeah that's what that's about basically so this has more tracks like bonus tracks to the original piece sells but who's buying so i can only get those tracks on the japanese version and i think that's something that's really interesting because um not a lot of people know that when they're getting into cd collecting like i didn't know next up is we are not your kind by slipknot this is a good album um kind of just 
again me adding ones that are kind of obviously going to be in my collection at some stage to my collection um nevertheless gorgeous art gorgeous stuff you know really cool photography too as does most slipknot album have um since they kind of went into their like new agey vibes uh but i think that this album for me again not my favorite not my least favorite a lot of these are kind of just me adding to the pile but um this one has birth of the cruel and unsainted on it and things like that that i really like because they kind of have the like singing elements but then also the like thrashy vocals and that's something that i really love so this one was always going to be in my collection for me like all slipknot uh, albums were i think even adderall even though i don't really like it but anyway this is en vivo by iron maiden another one that i just by now you know i just collect all of the iron maiden albums and yeah this one's a good one I haven't listened to it much probably won't revisit it much but i will have it on in the background of my videos really cool art as well like just i like the vibes of it you know it was really it was a good purchase i think and i feel like when i see uh something out in public that's like even the slightest bit metal i am more likely to buy it because i get excited because i'm like oh it's metal also this one has two discs so that's probably worth mentioning um yeah good one um if you I like iron maiden like things like this are good because any two cd one is like worth the price and i think that was only 10 euro here so like a fiver per disc that's not next bad. up we have one that i struggled to get um and i got free in the end because um there was issues with shipping and all the rest of it but tendons log blood and slime an irish band um and yeah it's a good album it's decent i love the artwork to be honest like it is on my door as we speak uh three tracks but really good and i'm excited to see where they go with their next music next one is a good one bullet for my valentine deluxe venom edition gorgeous um this one i like their music i don't know if people would even classify them as metal anymore to be honest because i've seen some people call them emo but i think they're good um, basic enough disc, basic enough back of the CD, but um, I like Tears Don't Fall. That's not on this. That's not on this album, but it's not a good one, and I think it has a few bonus tracks as well. So, how bad? Uh, okay, what do we have next? Another one that I can't pronounce, and I think it's in Latin, but this one is called Chanting Evil. Um, this is what it looks like and I'm guessing judging by this it is black metal so this is another one that I picked up in the previous transaction uh, these ones are always worth it because even if they're bad um, you discovered a new band and maybe they're after improving now who knows this is an Irish band called Mail Morha um, and if you are Irish and watching this and your Irish is a different dialect from mine, don't tell me I'm butchering the pronunciation because that's how you say it in my dialect. But yeah, um, I love supporting Irish metal bands. Um, as I mentioned when I was talking about Tendon Slug, I do have a video and I'm planning to do more videos uh, like this where I just talk about um, like Irish bands and Irish metal bands and like I promote them because I think it's really important to um, promote your culture and promote the things you love, the, like the artists that are doing the things you love in your culture. Um, and I might even do like a few bits of the video in Irish. So yeah, this is Cluan Tarb by Mel Morha. Um, if you don't speak Irish, you're probably very confused right now. So I'm sorry, but yeah. Um, and if you didn't know, I'm Irish by the way, if you can't tell. Uh, if you're new here but yeah that's basically that band i don't listen to them much but i'm going to listen to them more now that i have them um senjutsu by iron maiden you can see the flag there blurred nevertheless you can see it gorgeous art in this one like oh my god and two discs this is a really nice digipack love this one um like 
Look at that. That's divine. Um, I really love this one. I think this is a really, really, really good um, one to have. That artwork is just beautiful. And even this and like the font and this album is so good. Even the title track, Senjutsu, I think is probably my favorite, to be honest, because like the theme of it is just so good. And I'm not really a heavy metal girl anymore, but when I hear Iron Maiden, I just can't help it, you know? I really do like their music. And I always, I always probably will, I think, have a soft spot for them. Even like these discs, like the artwork on them is absolutely gorgeous, you know? And um, I think like that's something that is now like a trademark of Iron Maiden, like their artwork and as it should be because it's gorgeous. Also, I love how this sits on my shelf because it's really thick digipack and it kind of breaks up the monotony of the little chunky jewel cases. So yeah, final CD, best for last. This, you don't understand the struggle I had to go through to get this CD, okay. I, I'm not even going to go into it right now because we're just going to appreciate the art here and stuff. But if you want to know my life story about how I got this CD, which is not even that much of a story, um, go watch my other video because you will hear it all. This is Gore Pig by Gore Pig. It's Deathcore, New Death, whatever you want to call it. Um, a band from Arkansas, absolutely amazing. Am I biased because I'm dating a woman from Arkansas? perhaps and what um yeah i'm just jealous that um you know i know someone from arkansas and i don't get to even go see them live or something i, I gotta go see them live that's like my bucket list thing but anyway this is their um title track they released it this year and it's their debut album and look at that that's so cool um if you don't know what i'm talking about by now and you're a part of the community um, I'm just going to jog your memory by saying um, Peppa Pig intro and you'll know what I mean. And if you don't, then go check them out. A um, bit of a spoiler for my story on the other video. Um, you know, met, had to message them to ask when they were coming out with the CD and then they came out with the CD and I had just ordered it and they messaged me back and they were like, oh yeah. But um, they're lovely people, like they're great guys and they just did a corn cover as well and it's absolutely beautiful and i just can't wait to see where they go with their work in 2024 i'm gonna read you the title track no nope, track list oh, i can't it's the end of the year and i'm so tired um <laughs> track list from this one because there's only four tracks so swine flu with the tusk pigsty and my favorite father hog and then they did Father Hog remastered, but I preferred Father Hog because of the Peppa Pig intro, because that's just, you can't not prefer the Peppa Pig intro one. But yeah, um, gorgeous art. I need more merch from these guys. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I really need some of their work, like some of, more of their work on my shelf, even though they haven't made it yet, because I just adore these guys. I just realized I have like, another cd that i didn't show but i'm gonna leave that now to the new year because i have everything put away and um i just want to get editing these so they're actually out before the new year so um yeah as i said exciting things coming for the channel hopefully things will be improving with my setup and things like that but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i'm sorry this one was a little bit more rushed um but yeah without further ado i guess let's just pray that the new year um gets me a chair for over there gets me better lighting better sound quality no more rain all that good stuff but yeah um thank you guys for watching i hope you had a merry christmas and i hope you have a happy new year as well and i will see you in the next video in 2024 <laughs>